Have you ever been told to leave your emotions at the door? Is that even possible? In a word, no. In this video, learn how the skills of emotional intelligence can help you in all areas of your life. Infusing emotional intelligence into out of school time. Take a moment to reflect on your day yesterday. Consider all the emotions you experienced from the moment you woke up until the time you fell asleep. Think about how you felt with every person, place, and situation you encountered. How many emotions did you experience? Probably more than you can count or remember. Each of us experiences a range of emotions every day, and they change so quickly it can sometimes feel like we're on an emotional roller coaster. We all understand, at some level, that our emotions affect our day-to-day -day lives. We can see their impact on our thinking, our bodies, our behavior, and our relationships. The good news is that when we pay attention to them, each emotion provides an opportunity. We can learn from them and use them to reach our goals. It's common for emotions to be seen as interfering with our thinking. We often view them as noise or distractions. But if we think about all emotions, the pleasant ones as well as the unpleasant ones, as providing us with information, we can recognize them as helpful. Being smart about our emotions and making them work for us instead of against us is called emotional intelligence. The Yale Center for Emotional Intelligence uses the acronym RULER to identify the specific skills of emotional intelligence. The first R in RULER stands for recognizing emotions in self and others. We can recognize emotions by paying attention to our own and others' facial expressions, vocal tones, body language, words, and behavior. The U in Ruler stands for the skill of understanding emotions. This means knowing what causes our emotions and how they can affect our thinking, learning, decision-making, and behavior. The L in Ruler stands for labeling emotions. This involves having and using precise words to describe our emotions. E is for expressing emotions. This is the skill of knowing how to display emotions in helpful ways in a variety of situations. The last R in Ruler stands for the skill of regulating emotions. Regulating or managing our emotions means that we do something to feel the way we want to feel. When learning the skills of emotional intelligence, it can be helpful to think more specifically about how they impact our ability to learn, make decisions, develop relationships, and succeed in many other areas of our lives. Our emotions impact our thinking. Our emotions are constantly shaping our thoughts. When we are sad, we tend to be more pessimistic. When we are happy, we feel like we can take on the world. Our emotions impact our bodies. Our emotions impact our physiology. When we feel strong emotions like fear, our bodies prepare for fight or flight. Our hearts pound, we feel hot, and our muscles are tense. When we are calm, our bodies are at rest. Our breathing slows, and our muscles relax. Our emotions impact our expressions. Our expressions shift with our emotions. We smile, and the pitch of our voice rises when we meet a good friend. We furrow our brows, and our voice is filled with tension when we're annoyed with someone. Impact on our behavior. Emotions also change our behavior. They prompt us to approach or avoid. Less pleasant emotions like irritation make us want to retreat. Pleasant emotions like joy make us want to engage with others. These responses occur very quickly, often without our awareness. Noticing and becoming more aware of these changes is the first step in building our emotional intelligence. Our awareness and response to emotions can have a powerful impact. Let's consider the impact of emotions on more specific areas of our lives. Attention, memory, and learning. When we try to learn something new or listen carefully to what someone is saying, our emotions are at play in helping or interfering with our ability to pay attention. 
Generally, when we are inspired, we are more likely to remember new information. When we are worried, we may be distracted and unable to focus. Decision Making Every decision has an emotional component. Our emotions can lead us to make different choices in the same situation. Have you ever passed on the opportunity to go out with friends because you felt low or anxious or jumped at the chance to hit the town because you were feeling happy and energetic? Being aware of how our emotions impact our decisions helps us weigh our options more thoughtfully. Relationship Quality Emotions have an impact on the quality of our relationships in both our personal and professional lives. They affect how we interpret and respond to others and are influenced by how others engage with us. For instance, when our coworkers sense we're feeling overwhelmed, they may take that as a cue to leave us alone because we don't have time for them or don't want to be bothered. Over time, our emotions can lead to deeper relationships or cut us off from others. Stepping back to examine how our emotions are affecting our relationships helps us to be more open and intentional in our efforts to connect with others. Mental and Physical Health We've all felt a pit in our stomach when something goes terribly wrong. That feeling comes with changes in our brains and bodies that signal stress. If we don't regulate our emotions effectively, the negative impacts can add up and last long into the future. Our emotions can lead us to make poor decisions around our diet, exercise, and sleep. They can also lead us to engage in healthy behaviors. The joy we feel after spending an afternoon with good friends may lead us to go on that bike ride or to an exercise class we've been meaning to start. And the calm we feel after taking a walk can decrease stress and allow us to sleep more easily and deeply. Creativity. We often think of creativity as being confined to the arts, but creativity exists everywhere. We use it to solve problems, express ourselves, and look at situations in a new way. When we feel disappointed, frustrated, or disgusted, we may be motivated to address problems in our lives and communities. When we feel hopeful or content, our minds are freer to consider new ideas. Creative problem solving often involves failure and second tries. How well we manage our emotions plays a role in determining whether we give up or keep trying. So we can see that emotions have the potential to create an immediate and lasting impact on day-to-day -day life. Staff with more developed emotional intelligence report greater sensitivity and empathy, less stress and burnout, greater job satisfaction, and higher performance ratings. The impact of emotions is not limited to adults. Young people are affected in the same way. Young people with more developed emotional intelligence experience greater empathy, better quality relationships, better leadership skills, and higher academic achievement. Fortunately, we can learn and teach the skills of emotional intelligence. Learning these skills can help us solve problems, get along with others, and support the young people we work with. Like any skill, Developing emotional intelligence is a process that requires focused attention and practice. Ultimately, this can improve our well-being and help us reach our goals.